Hi Pisces, it's Lan from Tankard Tarot. I'm here to do, oh that's a bit better. I'm here to do your March 2020 Cartomancy reading. That's the art of reading the regular playing cards. So, um, anyway, I hope everyone is doing well, taking care of themselves at this time through the troubles. Um, be careful out there, okay? So, what do we have for Cancer? What do we have to tell Cancer right now? March 20, 20th. March 20th, 2020. <laughs> oh, we have some flippers. We have some flippers. So, we'll have a look at those just a sec here. Let me cut them. All right, we have the king and the queen, king of spades, queen of hearts. Um, so I um, this guy is dark eyed. It could be the female too. Um, very dark eyed. Could be dark skin, dark hair. Um, sometimes this guy as see is seen as the he's separated, divorced, widowed. Um, something like that or widow widower anyway um, and then the Queen of Hearts is the blue-eyed male or female um, caring soft uh, deeply emotional uh, they're kind of opposites in a way because he's kind of sharp you know he's sharp uh, to the point she's sort of um, she, she doesn't want to hurt people's feelings she uh, smiles, laughs a lot. Anyway, so this could be you and somebody else, Cancer. You could be one of these people. Um, but this is the underlying energy of the reading, I can tell you right now. So anyway, I make seven piles. And each pile has three cards in it. I go around the circle three times. And I deal them out face down and right side up. And um, I turn them over as I get to them. As I get to each pile, I turn it over and have a look at it. So, we almost have them all dealt out for you. Dealt out. I'll teach you a new language here, listen. <laughs> Two. <laughs> okay. So this is where you are now at the present time. Sorry about the bad hair thing. Two of diamonds, three of hearts, and eight of clubs. Looks like sort, sort of a business meeting could have been at the bank or something to do with finances. Um, you, you're trying to make sure perhaps that your, your money is okay. You're talking to someone at work. Um, could be talking about the actual stock market, investments. Um, this is about your own money, though. I don't think it's money that you share with someone. For It's yours. Um, so you could be having conversations trying to assure your um, place in this matter. Also, um, I almost got the feeling you could be working alone, too. You could be working alone um, right now. Hmm. Okay, I'll come back to that. Uh, what's coming in is, see, there you go, that meeting about your finances, eh? Ten of diamonds, seven of spades, and the jack of hearts. This is tears of joy. This is something good. Okay, the ten of diamonds is success, great joy, happiness, financial security, um, and and the seven of heart, uh, di uh, <laughs> see what I told you? Seven of spades is tears you know and but between these two cards it's tears of happiness tears of joy 
um, so, there's some sort of, um, I almost get the feeling you're a bachelor or, or a single person, even though you have the couple as your foundation, like those two people popped out together, but I get the feeling you're single, Cancer. Um, and there's something good financially that's happening to you. It's like luck. You, you get lucky somehow, okay? Something lucky happens for you. So on your mind, wow. <laughs> Things are really going your way. Holy cow. Nine of hearts, four of hearts, and three of diamonds. Um, hmm. <laughs> this could be a wedding. You could be proposing to somebody. I'm going to tell you right now. You could be thinking about that person. Um, even though you're single right now, I think that all could change because the nine of hearts is like emotional fulfillment. It's wish come true too. But if you look at what it's with, this is a nice gathering. This is also emotional stability. Um, and, and this is celebration. You know, this is diamond celebration. Um, I won't be surprised if I see the Ace of Diamonds. And I want you to see that the cards are all turned down. I only turn them over as I... So I won't be surprised if I see the Ace of Diamonds here for you uh, with what you've been getting so far. So let's have a, let's have a look-see. This is your sort of achievements, career, ambition pile. And um, you have the Nine of Clubs, so that's the workplace. Seven of Hearts and the Ten of Hearts. Something good is happening at the workplace here, at the job site, okay? Um, uh, I think that you're really appreciated there. I think you're well thought of. I think you're valued, really valued. You're very happy at the job site. Here is another ten. This is your second ten. This is your second red ten. There's a lot of happiness, joy. I think your things are finally turning around for you. You also have two nines here, and the, they're, um, you know, why things are probably turning around because of changes you've made. Okay, could be because of this person. You know, you want to, you want to be a better person, or something like that, um, or you want to be more um, stable. You want something more stable, more um, loving, more family type uh, sort of thing. And there's the Ace of Hearts, home and family. So this is your exterior influence and you have the Queen of Clubs, the Five of Clubs and the Ace of Hearts. Now the Queen of Clubs is a brown or hazel-eyed woman. She's friendly, helpful. Um, she's uh, very project-oriented, a hard worker. You know, so there's the club, hard worker. Um, and there's some sort of um, gain. Um, this woman of is, is a person, it could be a man too, right? Is of value to you. Um, you could have feelings for this person. You could be, uh, or just, this could be just, like a, you consider a close friend, but you could consider them family. You know, they're, they're that close to you. There's a, you might trust them, you know, because this is a game and this is like as close as family. You know, also, this is new love. Just to be fair, I'm going to tell you that this is about new love, new feelings, and it could be out of friendship. All right, this also could be you, Cancer. You could be any one of these people. All right, but this is exterior influences, so exterior to you, how people are influencing you or um, um, affecting you, you know what's happening around you. Um, this also, this person also could want more than friendship with you. You know, this person, perhaps. Ooh, geez, you got red everywhere, you know. Um, on your foundation, 
you have six of diamonds, five of hearts, six of hearts. This is really good. The sixes are about taking steps forward, taking steps in something. This is financial, lining up your finances, getting things in order, taking steps. Like it's like taking the the four to the next step, right? And and it's um but it's always in line it's uniform. It's more uniform. Um <laughs> Like, I also get the feeling, too, uh, you could be going on a nice trip. You could be going um, on a vacation. You could be going... I know that nobody's traveling right now. Actually, this is your foundation. It's probably already happened. So you've probably already traveled. You Maybe you're just getting back from a trip. You've just gotten back. It was a really good time wherever you went. Um... You know, you could have met someone there. You could have met this person there. Um, and because the five of hearts is here and this is friendly. It's also a love gift. It's like giving someone a love gift to let them know that, yeah, I likey, likey. So, and then above it is that, you know, you got love on your mind. You got like, you know, um, what did they say? Um, what was that old uh, rhyme? Uh, you know, Jerry and Rhonda up in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes the baby in the baby carriage. So... <laughs> And, you know, this could be a child over here, right? Because this new addition, new addition, you'll have to let me know. Um, let's see your surprise, Cancer. The Two of Clubs, the Eight of Spades, and the Jack of Diamonds. So, uh, the Two of Clubs is some sort of business meeting, and you have words with someone, someone and it could be about something you heard, uh, or a letter you might have received and now you're reacting to it. You don't like what you're seeing. You might have feel you might feel like there's money owed to you or someone's trying to get away with something. Um, you know, this could be the only thing that really surprises you. I'm not saying you're going to lose money, but you're definitely having words with someone about uh, um some sort of letter or news or something like that you, you get. And as soon as you get it, you're like, no, uh-uh, I don't think so. And you get right on the, you get right on the telly about that. You need, you want to talk about it and straighten this out right now. It's like that kind of thing. Okay. So, who we you got things going on. <laughs> bro. I'm a bra if I'm anything. Um, someone just wrote me and said bro. Um, let's see. A couple of nines, a couple of tens. They're all kind of get together there. Um, like I see a lot, like you, I think that you traveled or did something, you went somewhere and met somebody, whether it was just to the families or something. You met somebody and there's a sparkle there, okay? Um, also, there's uh, you're having a lot of good luck. Things are going your way. You're really happy. Um, I think that um, you might be trying to change some things in your life, um, make some changes, um, but they're all positive and you just... <laughs> it's just like you're beaming, you're gleaming, you're glowing, you know, happy. Ear to ear smile. It's it's you're just ecstatic. It's like something happened there. There's, there's there was a spark. Okay? And it's it's really lit you up. It's got you thinking. It's got you thinking, okay? So I'll have to let me know, Cancer. I'm dying to find out. I read every single comment. So, um, and if you like the video, you can like, share, or subscribe. I really appreciate it. It's all free. 
and it helps me. So um, anyway, talk to you soon. I hope all is well. Bye now.